next guest we are so excited mm -hmm. for. She is burning rubber, breaking glass ceilings, and showing no signs of slowing down, literally. She is the bomb. Catherine Legg is one of nine women, by the way, to race in the Indy 500 over the last 45 years. And she just made history in her qualifying run into the big race taking place next weekend. Please welcome Catherine Legg. Yeah. First, congratulations to you. You must be so excited. I am excited. Yeah, no, I mean, it's the biggest race in the world. Who wouldn't be excited for that? Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, you were in an accident. We're glad you're okay. Uh, yesterday at practice, what happened? Can you talk about it? Um, yeah, it's very similar to what happens on the road. Like, there's a stack up, so somebody slows down, somebody slows down more, and then I didn't know that they were stacking up, and uh, we had a bit of an incident. Unfortunately, it's racing. It happens, but I'm just super glad that, that Steph's going to be okay. You know, racing's one big happy family. Mm -hmm. And we've known each other since we were kids, right? Like most of the guys you race against, you grow up like coming through the ranks with. So it's just, it's awful to see when anybody gets hurt mm -hmm. or when anybody has a big wreck like that. But thankfully he will be fine. One big happy family. There are 33 of you racing this year in the Indy 500. You are the only woman, just amazing. This is yeah. after a 10 year break since you've been at the Indy 500. Um, how, do, you know, how does it feel to be back and how do you deal with all the pressure? We were talking during the commercial, you were saying how it feels to actually be in that moment. Tell us about all that. So I think the pressure you learn, right? Like you start off in lower formula and then you work your way up. So you, you start with a little bit of pressure and then you get a little bit more and then you get a little bit more and then suddenly you're in the Indy 500 and you're like, wow, this is a lot of pressure, <laughs> right? There's nothing like sitting in line waiting to go out for qualifying for Indy. Um, you literally go through every single emotion. You can label them all, you're sat there and it's, and it's kind of, it's nerve wracking, but you, you do what you've been trained to do and you do your job and you just kind of, you get on with it. But it has been really cool this year to be back because everybody's been so welcoming. I've noticed like a big shift in the fans as well. 10 years ago, I've been racing in between, don't worry, I haven't just been sat on my couch at home. <laughs> but 10 years ago, um, most of the fans were guys, honestly, and on race day families, right? But most of the time throughout the weeks, it was, it was men. And now there's as many women as there are men. And it's really cool because they come up to you and they say, well, you know, you're racing for every woman out there and my daughter can be whatever she wants to be now because of this. And so I feel a bit of responsibility, but I also feel an immense amount of pride. Mm -hmm. And you should, rightfully so, you really should. Uh, you said that racing didn't start with your love of cars. It started with competition. Have you always been competitive? I have, yeah. Um, my poor parents, that's a lot of <laughs> <laughs> But I love it. It's the competition with yourself, right? Mm -hmm. You can never get as good as, uh, there's always room for improvement. Right, like you can, you're always striving for being better and being the best driver that you can be. And then there's competition with others. There's the teamwork aspect. There's the speed and adrenaline aspect, obviously. But there's just so many different facets to racing that make it, in my opinion, the best sport in the world. And I, it gets under your skin. Like once you're in it, you, there's no way you can. It's like an addiction almost. Almost like an addiction. I love that. Mm -hmm. And so let's talk about this. 45 years, there's only been nine women. That's incredible. Yeah. Um, how did you first, did you, when you were little, did you dream that you'd be in the Indianapolis 500? And what do you have to say to other women who maybe want to get into racing but are girls. too scared? Yeah. yeah, little girls out there. Well, firstly, I didn't dream of being in the Indy 500 because I'm British, obviously. <laughs> um, you can probably tell by the accent, although <laughs> I've lost it a little bit now. Um, but as soon as I came to the States in 2005 to race professionally, I, dream I dreamt of being in the Indy 500. And I think it's just really interesting, like this is the first time that a cosmetics company has ever sponsored an mm -hmm. IndyCar. Um, you know, I've partnered with Elf Cosmetics, so we're actually like together kind of empowering women in a way, which is really neat. And I hope that little girls see that and they think, okay. Well, I can be whatever I want to be. If that's a fighter pilot, great. If that's a fireman, great. You know, like if that's a race car driver, even better. So I think times are changing. Mm -hmm. You know, women are running companies, countries even now. So I think uh, it's just what I love to do. And you should just follow that passion and that dream. Times are changing. Power. Mm -hmm. All right, power. thank you. They're yeah. changing and you're helping to change them. Thank you so much, Catherine. It's nice to have you here. And obviously, good luck next weekend as well. Thank you. Incredible. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. 
and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.